Okay, I think uh, we're gonna try the Atlas quest line. So first let's do the anomaly. I'm in the Rameskoy system with the two planets that we got all the animals on. All the fauna. And we recovered two spaceships in this galaxy. Um, let's summon the um, anomaly. We haven't been on there in a while. I do have 1,400 nanites. I could get that uh, Utopia speeder that I have. Stop. No, we didn't. So let's take that. We can always use more. So each of those slots was worth 100,000 units that we got in the last video, so that was 300,000 worth. Um, yeah, I'll add it down. This Kim for the location for the Atlas quest. Hmm. Boundaries are strange things, traveler friend. Most things stay where they belong. <clears throat> Other things, our home, Atlas, and now Artemis friends slip between. Curious. All right, I'm gonna ask for Atlas station coordinates. I will do it, friend, but please be careful. We would hate to see you leave us. Okay, so let's give this a try. X, F, hmm. Orbital station coordinates received. There it is. That system has an Atlas station. This will be our first Atlas station that we're visiting. All right, so somebody's already been here. So in fact, Hit escape and go to the discoveries. You can glance quickly at the planets. There's a bubbling planet with gold on it, which is very cool. In fact, I would like to make a gold mine. And there's a breached planet. I would like to check out both the gold planets. So, and make a base probably on one of them. To mine gold. Probably edit me running around getting all these balls, but you notice I just got an atlas work. So journey milestone accomplished. Linguist learned 50 words.
see those balls on the right and left? Warp cell. And warp cell. So this is worth doing just to get the free warp cell. You'll get them the first couple of at least. And I, all I understand is the word traveler. The Atlas called me to this interface and yet its purpose remains unclear. It demands worship. It demands obedience. It, de it welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. So the Atlas is a false idol. Remember uh, it's Atlas falsity. All right, but why? Why does such power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. The Atlas asks me to follow its path. So you have to have Milestone Pathfinder or above to do this. I'll accept. I accept this. The sky is deep and full of wonders. And the path to enlightenment opens to me. Okay, so the captured nano, nanode a uh, uniquely valuable curiosity, atlas seed containing zonally shifted quasi-stellar substrate. Warning, do not allow matrix to commune with this dimensional space. Requires 100 chromatic metal. The captured nanobe is the first of many blueprints you will get as you go to the different atlas um, places each time and it'll check to see if you, your milestone is high, high enough. Alright, let's go look for a planet, one of the two gold planets, and see if we can find a gold, a place where we can mine gold. I think I'll put the next upgrade in tech. E to install. Take an S-Class Starship Shield Module. So currently my shield strength is 264. Now this A is 15 and this A is 28. So I will dismantle this one. Let's see, 269.5, 272.9 by moving it closer. I need to get expansion slots for the multi-tool also. Scanner range 673. Now it's 968. 8,000% on fauna, 7,800 on flora, and plus 40% on scan radius. Excellent. Ah, there he is. So you talk to the traveler. I approach the lost traveler. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Witness, the life form dons a mask of undulating nanite clusters, and for a moment their face appears to become my own. 
I see myself looking at myself looking at myself. I'm going to die, I'm sure of it. Um, I'll just embrace the life form. That seems the nicest thing to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I embrace the life form, but it is myself I embrace. The mask withers, peeling from my face like flesh. I am myself again, but the life form is sad. They offer me pity. All right, now talk to them again. And you'll see the hundred nanites can be offered. Not all travelers are quite so curious. Some do not even stop to ask my name. They do not care about their brethren. No, not one bit. So I ask where he came from. I give him 100 nanites. You have to have 100 nanites available. Traveler Nob offers directions to a place of interest. Okay, let's head there next. Okay, there it is. Use F and E. Milestone. Met 35 aliens. Okay, I thought it was a milestone every 10 aliens. So apparently you get the fourth milestone at 35. All right, let's go visit that alien grave now. Stop where you are in these ships. Let's do the grave. Trace signal to Corvax. I wanted Z granted with convergence in exchange for Z the price extraction from my mind their wrist zzz, recovered i gain their zzz, lied to us convergence a best zzz, sentinels provide provided with tribute carapace to zzz, corvax help them conceal they are coming zzz, fire please step back i zzz. the fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph an epitaph of some ancient technology I extract the glyph. I obtain the glyph and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. I get a glyph and I get the memory fragment. Let me show you what the memory fragments do. Okay, so if you go to the memory fragment in your exosuit and consume E, um, it's an upgrade module. So I'm going to stick it on my multi-tool. And then it's a C-class. So I'm going to dismantle it and take another wiring loom. And I'm going to drop the wiring loom on the other one in my starship. Ninety-two thousand, not bad. There's another animal that I'm going to need to move my location to get. Hundred and forty-eight thousand. Literally a few minutes of scanning on a new planet makes you quite a bit of credit. I 
could check out that unknown building there. Uh, there's another scannable. Two hundred and seventy-eight thousand. I now have two more left to scan. Two hundred and seventy-eight thousand. Six of seven. One more left to scan. So now you know we're gonna have to do. Okay, so it's an uncommon flying that we need to find. Okay, let's look at the sky for a minute. And there's a red dot. Ninety-two thousand, and there we got seven of seven. That's another 1750 nanites. So you know what? I'm leaving this planet now. Journey milestone accomplished. Researcher. Five stars discovered all species on five planets. Activated copper. That bubbling moon with gold looks very interesting. Let's let's go to this moon. It looks like I'm going to get um, a mission accomplished. So first, let's take a photo. So hit X, arrow over, F, snap photo. Whoops. There. And you get the glyphs for this nice planet. So the object objective was updated. Oh, it's telling me to activate photo mode. That's complete. All right, now you go F to your F to your visor. Hit the number either one or three to move it. And I'm gonna go mineral survey. Hot spot is straight ahead. And you'll go to analyzing. So F and W. Now, if I back up a little bit and I do F with my goggle, you can then highlight the spot. So we will, we're gonna plant a base here. See the red dot? That see one species of one found so we'll upload that
and we get 250 extra nanites for finding all the one creature on all the one creature on the planet. Okay. Let's throw a base computer down. I'll need 30 chromatic metal, which I was already making in anticipation of these planets. I'll remove the base. Well, no. We'll see. We'll see what the mine looks like. Okay, I'll name this base Euclid Mining Operation. Nice rainbow. Journey milestone accomplished. Discovered all species on six planets. Compiler, six stars. Now, do I have a mining unit? It's an electromagnetic generator. All right, I need a, um, I believe I need a mining unit. So, and the teleporter requires two nanotubes and four metal plates. So, first. Technology recharging. Because we're about to use barite. Four metal plates. and you will need to connect that stuff with the wire. Okay, let's go to one of our bases and look in our container and see if we have any um, salvage data. Bases. Technology recharge. Thirty six salvage data. And we have another eight. Here. And we can drop this off in the storage container. This, this, this. I guess I'll sell the unsold. This goes on the starship. Let's go to a space station, then take off for free from the space station. Oh, we'll return to the mission agent while we're at it. And in missions, take photo on a strange world. Get a back, an extra um, 
spot on our exosuit because I believe this is where we went to the half. Slot on the exosuit. And now the construction research station. Need a mineral extractor, that's ten. And we can use a supply depot and a supply pipe. And that's pretty good right there. Um while we're here, let's grab the gas extractor. And the medium refiner. And that should be enough. Okay, now we'll use the teleporter. Go back to the mining base. your bases mining base and uh, to put it online quickly let's hook up a biofuel extractor because I don't have any gold for with me yet. So we'll just stick that out here. Um, I always like to use a battery with these things. And let's power this up and see what we get. Technology recharge. All right, it's extracting cobalt. But it's an S-class cobalt, which is pretty cool. All right, well, it's not gold, but I'll take that. Let's go get gold so we can run this thing. All right, actually, I'm not gonna show the rest that I'm doing with this right now. I'll show you my setup on this later. <laughs> 